in Hollywood. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? I think that's not my name for this segment, is it? <laughs> I mean, are you are you trying to invoke somebody's spirit? I think so. You were going to be Spirit Leroy for that's a win, that's a loss. Clearly, since he doesn't know how to be on our show. Wow. It's very, uh, it is, it is disheartening. It is disheartening. But we must get to it. The Dolphin schedule has been released. We play a timeless tradition on radio. That's a win. That's a loss. I don't care if the biggest games are in playoffs tonight. We'll get to that later. Okay. It's important to know what do we think about games that are in six months. We must know. We must know. Sounds so let's so get to it, everybody. It I know, right? So let's get to it. Week one of the Miami Dolphins season. They venture out to Los Angeles to take on the Chargers. 425 kickoff. Dono, is that a win or a loss for you, dude? What do you got? That's a win. So I, you know, Tua and Herbert. One and one against each other. The trilogy fight is coming up. Two is going to win that rubber match. And the Dolphins' defense are better built to deal with Herbert and the Chargers' passing game with what they've added to the secondary with Jalen Ramsey. They actually have a competent defensive coordinator, not just competent, one of the best in the business now with Big Dangio. Fangs up, my friends. Dolphins start 1-0. and I agree. I have them at 1-0 and as well. Uh, what about you, Vlad? Where are you with uh, the Dolphins on this one? Uh, you, are, you, are you impartial here? Are you able to be impartial? I am that's very okay. impartial. Right, I can't right, do that. That's okay. If you know if you know one thing about Vlad, Vlad hates Brandon Staley. <laughs> I despise that well, guy. Then you're not impartial. Uh, well, I am uh, impartial. You know, he's, <laughs> I'm impartial. Putting his Jets loyalties aside. I put him okay. like Jets. Exactly. I'm impartial. Brandon Staley needs to go. And therefore, Dolphins win first game of the season, 34 wow. 31 like over this. Brandon Staley. They'll miss a Do field it. goal to tie. All right. Dolphins won enough. Uh Spirit Leroy, what do you have? I love that. I'm also I'm also with that W. All right. I like it. So far, a sweep. We have another special guest to chime in. A former producer of this show, a man who is a degenerate, loves gambling. Robbie the Degenerate has sent in a pick for week one of the NFL season between the Dolphins and Chargers. Robbie? Ah, uh, rematch. Herbert versus Tua from last year, but just like last year, it is a loss for the Dolphins. 0-1. Oh wow. Oh, Robbie. Jesus, Robbie? Really? That's how he's going to do that, huh? That's how he's going to do that. All right, moving on. Week two, Dono. The Dolphins go to Foxborough for a Sunday night football matchup against Mac Jones and the Patriots. What say you? Tua has never lost to Bill Belichick. He certainly yep. never lost head to head against Mac Jones. I don't see why that stops this time. Two and oh, that's a dub. Agreed. I think this is also a dub, basically, just for one reason. Mac Jones sucks, dude. There's no way. There's no <laughs> way that Mac Jones is not gonna wet his bed thinking about what Vic Fangio and that Devin's gonna do. I think Jalen Ramsey, Javon Holland, and Xavier Howard. All have interceptions against Mac Jones that week. All of them. All of them. Right there on prime time. What about you, Vlad? Patriots done this season, man. Dolphins. Two and oh. Patriots, done. Dolphins get rid of the Patriots early. It's an early game in September. Two and oh, Pate Fins. All right. Spirit Leroy? <laughs> That's a win. <laughs> that was a very uh, evil laugh. Yeah. All right, let's see if uh, Robbie the Degenerate, uh, let's see if he, he's going to uplift the mood here a little bit and see what he has to say with Dolphins Patriots week two. Any other week on the schedule, I'd have this as a Dolphins win. But the problem is you got Tom Brady being honored, which means he's going to be in the building. Steven Ross is going to be in the building also. Uh, it's, two is going to be all sorts of distracted and rattled, just like he was with the Deshaun Watson trade rumors around him. And this is a loss for the Dolphins. Oh, and do. I don't even think Robbie has his Robbie's facts right. Robbie's wrong. You're wrong, no, dude. You're He's wrong, being Robbie. He's against the Eagles, dude. They're doing it for the opener, I think. Yes, they are. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was the opener. Robert Kraft came on Good Morning America and said that they were honoring Tom. And Jim Nance said that he wanted to be the MC for that. Of course oh. he does. He, oh, yeah. Nance just gets whatever yeah. he wants. So Robbie's wrong. It's not going to be on Sunday night. It's going to be on How about that, week Robbie? one. So therefore, you're wrong, Robbie. Home opener, week three, Dolphins, Broncos. Dono, what you got, dude? I mean, uh, I don't have to say too much about this one. That's a win. Agreed. 
Russell Wilson coming in there. Everybody thought he was going to be good for the Broncos. Do the Broncos have any national TV games? Have we? Have they answered yes, for their crimes? Yes, yes, they do. They do. They do. Because you're Why? guaranteed at least one, right? They do. Ha- do. Oh, besides Chiefs, their maybe. guarantees, because they gave us 900 Chiefs. Broncos games last year. Yeah. And Thursday night versus the Chiefs. Okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't That's count. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. So, th- But they have no Monday nights, no Sunday nights. Nobody's being forced watching Broncos football, but they will be forced to watching the Dolphins kick their ass. I got that as a win as well. Vlad, where do you go on this one? Unfortunately, I have to say, the Dolphins will start three and zero. They wow. will beat the Finn. They will oh, beat the nice. Broncos easy. I come on, unless Sean Payton's God mm-hmm. and can change that team. Did you see that team last year? They Terrible. Stunk. They stunk nasty. I just forgot Sean Payton was their coach. Oh, there you it go. doesn't even matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's going to be moving on to somebody. He'll probably be back trying to find Paxton Lynch out of the XFL. Brian, bring bring him back to replace <laughs> Russell Wilson. Uh, Jay Fig. I mean, Spirit Leroy. Oh. oh. That's a win. Listen, I, I like the start to the schedule. I think we're all feeling it, except for one person who doesn't even as facts correct. Robbie, what do you got for this one? Bro, you got a team from high altitude coming to Miami in September with a smeltering, melting heat. And the Broncos aren't very good. Oh, this is going to be an easy win for the Dolphins. One and two. Wow. All right. One so and two. Robbie's got very on the board. descriptive there. <laughs> very, very <laughs> the descriptive. heat. <laughs> got us on the board. The thing, All right. the thing like, okay, the, the heat is one thing. And the Broncos, I've seen the Broncos melt in the South Florida heat before. But going from high altitude to low altitude, that's not a disadvantage. That 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 goes the other way. Going from low to high is the disadvantage. This I guy think, thinks he's a scientist. Or I don't know. You know what, dude? I have to ask Mike Greenberg because I don't know unless he tells me what us <laughs> to feel about atmosphere. I'm not sure. It's, it's tough to, you know. So I got to get Greeny's thoughts on it. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to week four, Donna. Week four, back out on the road to take on those dastardly Buffalo Bills. What do you got for this one? Yeah, th- this is going to be the first L that I give to the Dolphins. And it's reluctantly because I think the Dolphins and Bills probably split. So I'm going to go with the home teams each taking the matchup. So traveling up to Buffalo week four, you know, it's going to be a close one, Tobin. I think it's going to come down to a final possession, but I give the slight edge to Josh Allen and company. You know what? I agree with you on this. I don't know if I can in good conscience put a 4-0 start out for the Dolphins. I feel like this is – but I do – like, look, we've seen these teams. They're very, very close. I think this will be another close one. And plus, look, these weasel bills, they get their way. You know, they get to – they whined and they cried. Oh, please, please don't put us into the Dolphins. So they'll get their way. They'll win by a field goal. It'll be a close game, but I'm with you. I have first L and the Dolphins at 3-1. and one. What about you, Vlad? They're going to lose on a tiebreaker. I mean, a field goal. They'll lose on a, fo- on a field goal. It'll be like 34-31. Another I agree. Th- I think that's how the Finns lose. I can't have them going undefeated either. But uh, that's going to be a – I kind of want to say they can sneak that. Like, do what you got to do, dude. Yeah. If you want to start them for no one's going to stop you. They're going to sneak it. Fins beat the Bills. Wow! Yes. Yes. Start no start from Vlad. The Jets fan has him starting four and zero. Amazing, amazing. You know you 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 know where the two losses going to come. To. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, wait oh. for it. <laughs> uh, J, uh, Spirit Leroy, what say you? They're coming out with everything they've got in this game. It's a win. Wow. I love mm-hmm. the Spirit Leroy. Spirit Leroy, I'm way better than the actual Leroy when it comes to that's a win, that's a loss. Because sure I feel like real, real Leroy probably wouldn't even participate, right? He oh, would just he just stared at the, the screen. Yeah. He wouldn't even give us an answer, Donna. He'll probably really be annoying. munching right now. Yep. yep. All you hear is crunch, <laughs> crunch, crunch. Uh, what about Robbie? Let's see what he has to say about this one. I think I know where this is going to go. Two years ago, it was AJ Epinesa. Last year, it was Matt Milano. This year, I have Ed Oliver continuing the early season Bills tradition of knocking Tua out of the game. And he's not going to be able to come back this time. Too much PR on the line. Uh, and Mike White's going to come into this game, and he's not going to be able to get the job done. I have this as a loss for the Dolphins. One and three. So he's already yeah, got, he two, already got, two, he's got two, two out, out of the season by week four. <laughs> what you bastard. <laughs> He made a good point though about too much PR on the line because if if he God right forbid if, if Tua suffers a hangnail this year, um, they're going to be like, yeah, what you can't play this guy, you can't rush him back. If Tua, he's right if, about that, yeah, if somebody lands on Tua, they're going to be like uh, protocols. That is true. I mean, they're, they're going to watch. They're going to have a keen eye on Tua, but he, he's learning jujitsu, dude. Like he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. All right, we return home week five hosting. The New York football giants. Uh, Donna, what do you got for this one, buddy? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to squeak a Dolphins W against the New York football Giants, and that would have them, what, at four to one, four and one by my count? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going I'm going the Dolphins get back on track after the Bills game. Okay, I agree with you. I have a Dolphins win here. I have sad Will Manso looking at his New York Giants. <laughs> sad Sid Rosenberg. Yes, I was about to say. Oh, bro, what are you talking about? Oh, football the, the New York football Giants, they lost to the <laughs> Dolphins. What's going on? Danny Dimes, they don't want to pay him. They were forced into it. They didn't, then they made Saquon Barkley all upset. So, I'm sorry. I got that as a, a loss, Will. Uh, the, Dolph, the, the Dolphins are winning that game for you uh, for you and – you know, you're going to have to put on a fake smile for local 10. No way. That's what's going on there. So I got a win for the Dolphins there. Uh, what about you, Vlad? Your New York counterparts. Even though I hate the Giants, after an unbelievable win over the Bills, this is the come down. The letdown. Yeah, this is the letdown. letdown this game. is a letdown game. You are, you'll actually be beating the Giants by 10 points going into the fourth quarter. Wow. And somehow. Some collapse. Some collapse. Wow. Just, just a, yeah, just a letdown. Hmm. Yeah, this is your loss. A humble, a humbling game. Uh, uh, what about you, Spirit Leroy? You know what? It's very unfortunate that Vlad and I kind of have the same situation going on. Mm, all right. I don't like it, but this is definitely going to be one of those little sneaky losses that are not really a true loss, you know? Right. Like, the Dolphins are the better team. Right. right. It's just that, eh. They were just thinking, looking ahead. Got a little fat and sassy. Got a little fat and sassy. All right. Maybe two right. underthrows. He underthrows somebody, and then the whole uh, the mm. narrative starts that week. Maybe. It could be one Maybe. of those games. Maybe you have that uh, Kevon Thibodeau. He's doing the snow angels, except it's in the sun. You know, sand angels. <laughs> uh, what about Robbie? I'm sure he's going to be uh, – now that we have Mike White at quarterback, I'm sure this one's going great. Here we go. Robbie the Degenerate. So two is still in the protocol. Mike White will start this game for the Dolphins. <laughs> but we do a full week of practice, and Mike White playing not against his old team, but against his old city somewhat. Got this as a win for the Dolphins, two and three. Wow, the hometown kid. Hey, eh? <laughs> all right. He that, that was a roller coaster of a prediction. He does. Seriously, Robbie's Robbie's got two in protocol, but he's got Mike White leading the Dolphins. All right, so, so now we got a quarterback controversy, is what Robbie's saying. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, week <laughs> six, they are hosting the Carolina Panthers. Donna, what do you have for this one? Uh, it's one of the easier dubs on the schedule. Agreed. I mean, this is this is almost at it might even be easier than the Broncos game because at least yeah. the Broncos that the Broncos have got themselves a a good coach. So yeah, this is a dub for the Dolphins. I do think this is, this is a theme. I do think the Dolphins uh, they have a pretty a softish home schedule. They were good at home yeah. last year, six and two. I think they got they got to take care of business at home, and I think they will against uh, Bryce Young. He's tiny. He's so small. Uh, Vlad, what about you? Put your money on the Dolphins after the letdown against the Giants. This is smackdown city. This is a blowout. You get to see Mike White. Absolutely, you'll get to see Mike White. You think just a little mop of duty? Yeah. Third quarter, <laughs> like midway through the third quarter. You might get to see Skyler in this one. You might get to see Skyler. <laughs> Skyler's the limit. I think a 40 burger might be dropped on this game. <laughs> what about you, Spirit Leroy? Come on. That's a dub for me. Exactly. I mean, what else needs to be said? Uh, Robbie the Degenerate, what do you have to say about this? Mike White's still a quarterback for the Dolphins, but you got a rookie quarterback coming in, playing on the road. Not a lot of weapons at Carolina since they traded their best one away to get said rookie quarterback. I got this as a win for the Dolphins, 3-3. Three and three. All right. Robbie has him at 3-3. Three and three. Uh, Let's uh, get through this one. Uh, next up, Sunday Night Football. What could be argued is the toughest game of the year. Taking on the NFC champions in their building. Mm. Philadelphia Eagles, week seven, Sunday night football on the road. Dono, what do you got for this one? Well, I love the Tua versus Hurts storylines, but I've it hurts to admit it that I think uh, the Eagles are going to take this dub from Miami. So that that that's the second loss I'm going to give the Dolphins this year. Same page with you. I think we've been in lockstep this entire yeah. way. Uh, that's the, that's probably the toughest game of the season, I would say. Going into Philadelphia for a prime timer, you know, who knows if they're going to throw piss snowballs? Who knows what that degenerate thing is? <laughs> yellow, do. they're throwing yellow snowballs. <laughs> yeah, like it is piss snowballs in October. Who knows what they're going to get going? You know, just, just gross? trash Halloween candy. You can't trust <laughs> Philadelphia. I don't know what they got going on there, but I, I got that as a loss as well. Vlad, this is your first bad loss of the season, mm. like where you feel like that. They just this this team is way better than you right now. As of right now, 
yeah, measuring he, stick game. Yeah, this is a measuring stick game. This might be your first double digit loss, mm. maybe like a 38 24, 35 20 type of loss. All right, Jennifer, aka Spirit Leroy, what do you have for week seven? <laughs> wow, all right. Y'all uh, not feeling great about this Eagles game. What about Robbie the Degenerate? Does he swerve us with the Mike White train? Tua is back for this Sunday night showdown against the <laughs> Eagles. A lot of parallels between these two teams, except one team ended up in the Super Bowl. Both got that Alabama receiver in the first round. Both traded for a superstar wide receiver. But the Eagles uh, worked out better for them, sort of. And so I guess this is a loss for the Dolphins in prime time, mm. three and four. All right. Tua's return is a loss for Robbie. Two more before we hit the break here. Uh, back home. Hosting the Patriots. Dono, what do you got? Dolphins are going to sweep the Patriots this year. That is a dub. We'll see if Mac Jones is even still the quarterback at that point. There could be some Bailey Zappy action, or maybe right. they'll try to bring Tom Brady out of retirement. But no, that is a dub for the Dolphins. Well, we know either way that there's always Brian Hoyer. You know, if if, if, if all this fails, just go to Hoyer. I'm with you. The team sucks. Dolphins will sweep them this year. Vlad? I want the Patriots to go 0-6. Oh, man, in that'd the be division. so good. That'd be so Finn good. Finn sweep. What about you, Spirit Leroy? Come on, guys. Are yeah. you really asking me this question? I mean, what, what's the point, right? That's so silly. So That's silly. Bad. So silly. Uh, Robbie? Dolphins always win at home against the Patriots, no matter what. Win for the Dolphins. Four and four. All right. We'll wrap this up before the bye week. Inexplicably, we are flying to Germany and taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Dono, what do you got for this one? Oh, that that's a loss, Mike. That's a loss. That's a yeah. loss. It's it. Wow. It's a, it's a tough matchup, and people are trying to tell me. Apparently, there's a lot of Chiefs fans in Germany, so they probably <laughs> just they probably just hop on the Super Bowl winning bandwagon over there. So yeah, it's. I wish this one was going to be in KC because the Tyreek Hill storylines would be fun, but uh, we're going down in Frankfurt, guys. Look, Tyreek Hill told us. A month ago when he was on that random Chiefs podcast with his former teammates and he said he was going to throw up the peace sign at Arrowhead. Well, he doesn't get that opportunity, but he's still going to be throwing up a lot of peace signs. I think we're going to have a huge day for the cheetah. I think he's going to be throwing peace signs all over the place. He's going to have some brats. He's going to have some beers. He's going to have some schnitzel. They're not going to know what hit him. Dolphins beat the Chiefs in Germany going into the bye. What about you, Vlad? There'll be a lot of Franks being eaten. There'll be a lot of beer being drunk. But it doesn't matter if it's in Kansas City, Miami, Frankfurt, Oslo. It doesn't matter. That boy Patrick Mahomes is the real deal. Hmm. Chiefs beat the Dolphins. In a close one. Oh, wow. Respectable. Yeah. In a uh, close one. What about you, Spirit Leroy? This is a scary one for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say it ends with an L. A close wow. one. Nobody That's believes enough. they can beat him, huh? What about Robbie the Degenerate? What do you have, Robbie? If this game was being played in Arrowhead, I would have this as a win for the Dolphins because I feel like Tyreek Hill would have this huge monster revenge game, but it's going to be kind of a letdown. It's like Tyreek's like, what the hell, bro? I should be in Arrowhead. I shouldn't be here in Germany. <laughs> Loss for the Dolphins. Four and five. I love the line. I agree with them. Wow. It's true. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's a swerve. I didn't expect that one. I'm the only one who thinks they can win in Germany. I think they're just going to win in Germany because they're so mad that they're in Germany. We just got out of the bye. Where do you have the Dolphins at? You have them at six and three? Yes, six and three. Six and three. I got them at seven and two. Vlad, where do you have them? Seven and two. Uh, Spirit Leroy? I have six and three. All right. And Robbie, I don't remember. I think it's like uh, four, four and uh, whatever. That four one. and four, I believe. Four and four. I think, four I think Mike White has more wins than two at this point. I think that's Robbie. what he has. Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's start off at home against Las Vegas Raiders. Dono, what do you think here? So, yeah, I like the Dolphins coming off the bye against last year's probably most underachieving team in the league. And I like Tua against Jimmy Garoppolo, who is the poor man's Tua Tungo Vailoa. I think Mike McDaniel is going to take Tua farther than he ever took Jimmy G. So, yeah, I've got a well-rested Miami Dolphins team getting the dub and improving to 7-3. and three. I got them in the win here, too. Nobody knows Jimmy G quite like Mike McDaniel does. He knows all his secrets, and he knows one thing. The dude, he may be a looker, but he ain't that much of a QB, all right? And it, let's see if he's even healthy at this point because it is middle of the season. That's a coin flip for Jimmy G as it is already. But I got that as a win for the Dolphins as well. Vlad? Win for the Dolphins. All right. 
You got to give, yeah. Got to get that, Jimmy right? G, come on, you got to be Jimmy G in the Raiders. Spirit Leroy? They are well rested and they thought long and hard about the Germany game. Yes. It's a win. All right. A nice uh, bounce back for you. Uh, what about uh, Robbie the Degenerate? What does he have to say about this? Coming off a bye, and you got a West Coast team traveling east playing the one o'clock game. Who knows if Jimmy Garoppolo will be still the starter for the Raiders by then? Gets a win for the Dolphins. All right. And now a juicy one. Ooh. Week 12, after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, 3 p.m. The Dolphins venturing to take on the New York Jets. Donna, what do you got? Sorry, I don't want to do this, mm. but I, I I think the Jets take this first one. I think, wow. uh, yeah, and then it's going to be overhyped the next day. You know, I, when everyone's full on turkey, people are going to be talking about the Jets beating the Dolphins like they're Super Bowl champions already and Aaron Rodgers, but I think the Jets take this first one. Disagree. I think the Dolphins win this one. You got Aaron Rodgers Thanksgiving week. He's a weirdo. Who knows what he's going to do on Thanksgiving? I mean, he could go there while everybody's gathering around having turkey. He could be having ayahuasca, you know, going on a spirit quest, you know, thinking about what is the meaning of gratitude. And I think that's a loose game. That's a wild card. You don't really know with him. That might so, help him, though. Like, could, could, I don't, come, yeah. It's a coin flip. Yeah. It's a coin flip. But I, I'm going with a win for the Dolphins here over the New York Jets. Vlad, we know what you're going to say. Of no. course. We're going to have turkey for Thanksgiving and dolphin for Black Friday. That's ridiculous. I love How it. Cute. Ridiculous. How I love cute. it. Ridiculous. With a lot of purpose, we're going to bust your ass. That's a it. A lot of purpose or poor no purpose. shot. No shot. Yes. Uh, Spirit Leroy? Hate to do this to you, Vlad, but not really. It's a W. Wow. All right. And uh, what about Robbie the Degenerate? What does he have to say about this Dolphins uh, Jets first matchup? Little Black Friday action. Against the Jets. Now, Aaron Rodgers has owned the Dolphins over recent years. That's true. But this is New York, and the weather's going to be horrible. So I feel like what's going to happen is it's going to be so bad that they're going to get to overtime, and nobody's going to be able to score. And I have this game ending in a tie. What? These things happen all the time in the NFL. There were two ties last year. The last time the Dolphins had a tie was in 1981 against the New York Jets. So I have this as a tie. Five, that? five, and one. How about that? I can't believe wow. this man. Wow. Just he just pulled that one out of the... Hold on. I don't think you're allowed to do that, Robbie. Are you allowed to do that? It's, that's a win. That's a loss. You can't. So. That's a tie? No, I'll no allow tie. it. Oh, no. Wow. I think it, you mean, right. Jeff, Bezos, Jeff Bezos would not allow a tie on that. That's on crazy. Ties do happen now multiple times per season in the that, NFL. I think we have to allow that. Man. With those two offenses? No. That's crazy. All right. Then we have week 13. They are going to a dangerous place. The home of the Washington Commanders. You never know what's going to happen at that stadium. Poop could be flying out of the pipes. You know, it's 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 a wild card. Uh, and and uh, you know, I don't know how to feel about this one, Donna. What do you got for that week thirteen? No, I, I got a Dolphins dub there. Part of me, I just I despise. I don't care who owns the team now. I despise that Commanders organization so much. It, the the Dolphins are going to win that game. Traveling to Washington, they will get it done. That's a dub. You know, I actually have this. This is my first letdown game of the season. Ooh. I have this as a letdown. You know, sneaky, sneaky, okay. The the You have a big rivalry game the week beforehand. You know, I feel like the Dolphins, I have them riding high going into this one. I feel like this is one where they can get tripped up. And I have them falling to the commanders in one of the most disappointing losses of the season. Vlad, what do you have? I have the Dolphins whipping the commander's ass. There's no wow. way the Dolphins should lose to the commanders. The commanders yeah. stink. You can't lose to Sam Howell. All right? You can't even lose to th – I'd My rather lose to Thurston Howell. All right? I'm not going to lose it. You can't lose to no Sam Howell. Could be like somebody like Nick Foles at this point, right? Like they just yeah. call him off the couch. It's true. Uh, what about you, Spirit Leroy? That's a W. With poop mm. or no poop. It's a W. Poop or no poop. Okay. What about oh, Robbie the Degenerate? No poop. We know that Sam Howell is no blacksmith. Win for the Dolphins. Six, five, and one. Yeah, you, he's Robbie. not a blacksmith. He uh, he goes out there. That means uh, he's not able to just work with any parts. Yeah. So there we go. All right. Then we return home. Monday night football against the Tennessee Titans, who had a very funny but plagiarized schedule release. Donna, <laughs> what do you have for this one? Uh, I mean, I, I, I hope uh, to see Ryan Tannehill, uh, but, you know, I – Dolphins are going to win this game at home. I'm going with a Dolphins dub. 
I am. Uh, I also have a dub. I think that you got. Uh, I think it'll be the Will Levis era by this point. Probably. You know, I think that they'll be. Uh, they'll be moving on. And uh, Mister Mister Green Room, he's not going to know what hit him. You know, it feels like a throwback Jersey night. Feels like Zonk. Zonk's going to be there doing the coin toss. Somebody's going to get honored. I don't know who. Maybe they're going to put Sam Madison in the Ring of Honor. They'll do some kind of some kind of ceremony. Big Monday Night Football game. Maybe there'll be throwback orange jerseys. I don't know. Like some some kind of crazy twist will be here. But the crowd's going to be hyped. The Tennessee Titans aren't going to know what hit them. Big blowout Monday night football win for the Dolphins. Vlad? Yo, get my live table re- ready early. This yeah. is a blowout Sunday night. I'll Let's be go. Yo, people will be at live very early on, on this Sunday night. That's uh, easy. Spirit Leroy? The Tennessee who? It's a dub. Titans. <laughs> I know. Uh, Titans. What That's about- also the only thing that they knew in that video. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I know that. Team. I know that. Good Tennessee for you guys. Titans. What about uh? You, oh, you're, you're making fun of the uh, the girls. You thought they were that that voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Robbie, what do you got for this one? Robbie, who knows if Ryan Tannehill will still be the quarterback for the Titans? So if he is, you got bum Ryan Tannehill going on the road on a Monday night if the game doesn't get flexed out, or you could have Will Levis playing quarterback for Tennessee by then. Either way, scenario, Dolphins win seven five one. Agreed. Then they move on. They have a lot of home games to end the, the season, which is a good thing. Then they uh, welcome in those uh, stinking New York Jets. Uh, Donna, what do you have for this one, buddy? Revenge game. I had the Dolphins Ooh. dropping the Black Friday showdown in New York. Mm-hmm. They're going to return the favor in South Florida. And all those stinking Jet fans who try to fill up that stadium, whether it's the losers who move down here to Miami and still claim New York, even though they got the hell out of there, or if it's the Snowbirds who come down here and travel, they're going to be handed a big fat L by Tua, McDaniel, Tyreek Hill, Xavier Howard, Jalen Ramsey and company. That's a Dolphins dub. All right. I have another Dolphins dub as well. Again, now you have Aaron Rodgers down here in Miami. We saw what happened last year. The Dolphins got off to a tremendous start against Aaron Rodgers. And we didn't know that in the midst of that, our poor Tua was concussed. We thought that he was just ruining Christmas by just general stinkiness. But in fact, we did not know that he was compromised. You guys know. Ergo, not a tr- – that's not nice. Ergo – not 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 a true loss last year to Aaron Rodgers because you took on a wobbly Tua. Now, Tua, who I don't know if you guys heard, is taking jujitsu, is going to be fine and get through this game. And I think that they're going to handle the Jets by two scores and get the win. Vlad, you see, he's probably a brown belt by now, by the way. He's got to be. ridiculousness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's going to be nice. But you have them sweeping us now. Sweep, dude. No, it's the other way around. No, dude. Okay. Yeah, it's not happening. No Jermaine way. Jermaine Johnson. Oh, you know what? Michael Clements. That's the guy. Second quarter, flattens Tua. Oh, get out of here, dude. Oh. Flattens him. Not going to flatten nothing. Flattens Tua. That's just Black cool. Air Force One just flattens Tua. Mike White comes in, and he throws the game for you guys. Jets beat the Dolphins. Wow, you think Mike White throws the game? The revenge game? Yeah, uh, in the re- yeah, it's, mm. it's, he's just going to see his guys. He just Oh, for the Jets. Like, yeah. he's going to do them a solid. Oh, you don't want to get hurt. Oh, yeah. Well, how about this, dude? What do you ever think about this? Braxton Berrios revenge game. Ever yep. heard of it? Yep. Big punt return for either. old never Agent happened. Zero. It's never happened. Oh, it's going to happen, dude. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You guys it's are the Miami happen. Jets. Also. It's going to happen. But you lose to the Jets. Uh, What about you, Spirit Leroy? You know what? I was going to say it was a loss, but you're out here trying to flatten Tua. No. Yeah. Wow. Revenge game. Even from me, Jay Figgy. It's a win. Wow. All right. What about uh, Robbie the Degenerate? What does he have for this Jets game week 15? The Dolphins still struggling to beat Aaron Rodgers, not since 2010, but this time Jets at home. They finally break through and beat Aaron Rodgers. I got this as a win for the Dolphins, 8-5-1. All right. Then on Christmas Eve, the Dolphins welcome in the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are coming into town. I saw Dallas. I was watching the uh, Country Music Awards last night. I saw Dak Prescott and Emmett Smith. They uh, introed the first award. And uh, I gotta say, Dak Prescott, good, uh, good, good uh, award presenter. Quarterback, I'm not quite sure. Donald, what, uh, what do you got for this game? Dak Prescott, um, people are starting to the secrets out that he's not all that, but he's been one of the most overrated quarterbacks of the last six or seven years. Dolphins are not going to lose this game at home 
on Christmas Eve. Like you said, Tobin, as long as two is not concussed, Mr. Tongo Vailoa is not losing on Christmas. He's going to have those Christmas pajamas on before and he after loves the Christmas. game. He loves Christmas. He's so not going got- yeah, I agree. He's not losing two Christmas weekends in a row, and That's especially if he's not concussed. Right. Agreed. Same as Vlad, what do you got for this one? It's a 425 game, yep. national game. Yep. Troy After Aikman the, on the call, obviously. Troy Aikman. No, 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 no. Aikman's on, oh, that's right. He's Monday Night Football now. Yeah, this is going to be Greg O. This is going to be Greg O. Until Tom Brady decides he wants his job, if he wants his job. Probably pretty much. So G-Reg with the third leg is doing the call. G- yeah, okay. You, you could say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think they bounce back from the loss to the Jets mm. and beat the Cowboys. Mm. And everybody's happy. Mm. Dolphins win and um, move closer to a wild card spot or a playoff spot. Spirit Leroy? He's not ruining Christmas for you, Tobin. No way. Oh, not this year. Not this year. Not this year. Robbie the Degenerate, what do you got? Ah, uh, a little Noche Buena action against the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Too many Cowboys fans will be in the stands for this one. It's a loss for the Dolphins. Wow. Eight, six, and one. Too many Cowboys fans are going to be there? I don't know, man. Well, I mean, listen, a lot of road teams travel down here. It's beautiful down here. Well, why All does right. he sound like he's hiding in a closet when he does these picks? I think he actually broadcasts in a closet. I think that's where he, he gets his he best, uh, his best, uh, his best sound. Uh, all right. Hi. Two more games for the Dolphins schedule. We'll wrap this puppy up. We got week 17, Dono, venturing to Baltimore, which is a one o'clock game on New Year's Eve. Sadly, that's a loss. Yeah. I think Lamar yeah, Jackson is going to go crazy. I, I know. I know what happened last year, but I think this one's a loss. Just, yeah, road, yeah. weather. Yeah, I got the Dolphins in a good spot anyway. I don't even know how much they need this game, to be honest with you. Yeah. But uh, that's that's where my my record is at currently. But I, I this is a loss, too. I think it's a, that's a tough one. You go out on the road. Baltimore's a good team. They got weapons now. I'm assuming they're going to be a good team at, uh, on December 31st. As a, <laughs> this is the beauty of the game. Beauty of the game. Uh, what about you, Vlad? Road game against the Ravens. New Year's Eve? You don't want to be in Baltimore. Who wants to be in Baltimore around New Year's Eve? Come on, man. It's ain't an episode of The Wire. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, this is a loss because their minds is going to be heading back to South Beach to enjoy New Year's Eve in a beautiful city. Spirit Leroy? I agree. This is a loss. They tried yeah. so hard winning all those games that I have for them. Mm. So, you know, they're going to have a little rest here. I'm really, uh, I'm really digging Spirit Leroy's vibe today. You know, yeah. especially it's it's much better than Leroy just staring at the screen. And then, uh, what about Robbie the Degenerate? What does he have for Week 17 against the Baltimore Ravens? Oh, the dreaded Week 17 game on the road in the cold. This will be the fourth Week 17 in a row where they're playing on the road in the cold. The last three haven't gone so well. Last year was Teddy Bridgewater who took the loss for the Dolphins in New England. The year before that was Tua's disastrous Tennessee game. And the year before that was Tua's disastrous Buffalo game. Now you got the Ravens seeking revenge from last year's fourth quarter collapse. Got that as a win for the Ravens, loss for the Dolphins. God, that was the greatest game ever. I love that game. Yeah. Oh, that game was that game was that game was drugs. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, that was so good. All right. Last game of the season, Dono. They come home. They host the Buffalo Bills. We do not know the time. This could be flexed. We don't know. We could, uh, but it's it's up in the air right now. But currently, Dolphins hosting the Bills last week of the regular season, week 18. What do you got, buddy? I had the Bills taking the first matchup. I've got the Dolphins getting some payback here in the regular season finale. I think the Dolphins will already be a playoff team even before that game. So, you know, I, I don't know how much either of these teams are going to have to play for at that point, but I'm going with a Dolphins dub and a season split between the Dolphins and Bills. I think at this point, Josh Allen has broken down. He is not going to be the – how about this first word? He will not be quarterback for the Bills at this point because he has been running into a brick wall all season. He's already talked about this. He's got to be more of quarterback than football player. He's going to go against his instincts, and he'll be worn down. Maybe having Tommy John at this point. I don't know. Who knows? It's tough to say. But uh, the Bills will be a shell of themselves, and this will be the Dolphins' clincher to top the Jets for the division. Dolphins beat the Bills at home to round out the regular season. I have them at 13-4 and four on the year. Vlad. Loss by the Dolphins. I have you beating them in Buffalo, so – I got to give them a upset victory on the road. 
you do not see them sweeping the Bills. Is what you're no, saying. you're sweeping the Patriots. You're losing two games to us, but you're splitting with the uh, the Bills. Mm, very generous of you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Spirit Leroy? I have this as an L, but they don't really mm. need it. They don't need it. Yeah, don't need Mike, it. little Mike White action. I like your, I like your style, Spirit yeah. Leroy. Uh, all right, let's get Robbie the degenerate. They were being uh, generous with this. Final game. thoughts on the Dolphins uh, finale. Dolphins played three close games of the Bills last year, even with Skylar Thompson at quarterback. The two of those losses were on the road, and they were able to break through and beat the Bills at home. I think they've caught up to the Bills, at least being able to beat them at home. I have this as a win for the Dolphins, and that's good enough to get them into the playoffs at 9, 7, and 1. Oh, I forgot wow. his tie. Tie. All right. So I have him at 13 and 4. Robbie at 9, 7, and 1. Donna, what was your final record? 12 and 5. 12 and 5. All right. 12 and 5. I have the Dolphins. I think I have the Dolphins. I have 12 and 5 home. as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have, I have 11 the, and 6. All of my losses for the Dolphins are on the road. I have mm, them undefeated yes. at home this year. I think mine are as well. <laughs> undefeated at home. <laughs> uh, what was your record, Jay, uh, Spirit Leroy? 12 and 5. 12 and 5. And Vlad, what was your record? 11 and 6. 11 and 6. There you go. All right. Wow. That is that's a win. That's a loss.